Welcome back folks and uh, we are going to help you out with this V block. We're drawing it incrementally. I've already got it set up on a mechanical template or layout using a decimal format. So I click line 0 comma 0 to start. It's always a good place to start. And if I want to do this incrementally all I have to do is uh, first the first line I don't have to do at because it, we're already at 0 0. So I want to hit 3 comma 0 and now I want to bring this up incrementally. So I hit make this point zero zero. I hit at. I hit zero and X, and I want to go up one point five, just like that. I will zoom in here with my mouse. I want to figure out what this line length is. If you know this is six and a half overall, three and three, six minus six and a half leaves you with a half. So at point five comma zero, coming back down at. 0 comma negative 1.5 so I'm going to come over again 3 at makes that 0 0 so I'm moving in x 3 comma 0 I'm coming up 1 inch so at 0 and x 1 and then I want to come over this amount here is uh, and it's symmetrical so whatever this side is this is the same so this will be at negative 1.12 comma 0 I'm coming up 0.75. I'm coming over 0.75. I'm going up this little distance right here, which is, I'll have to take a look at it because I can't see. It's 0.25 is what it is right there. It is showing on here. So <clears throat> at 0 and X, but 0.25 and Y. I'm coming back over 0.38 at negative 0.38 next comma zero and y and then I want to do two movements here I'm going to do a uh, we're going to do a 0.75 in height and we're also we've got to figure a few things out here though let's bring this one in here so I can see a little bit all right there it is so it's 0.75 over from that point, and it's 0.75 in height. So it's at 0.75 comma 0.75, and it shoots us up to there. Now I want to do this at 0 comma 1.5. I want to come back over this way at, and now I'm going and a negative x so it'll be negative 1.5 comma 0 now I've got two movements here doing a doing this on 1.5 and 1.5 at negative 1.5 comma negative 1.5 I'm gonna come straight down here looks like 0.25 at 0 comma negative 0.25 shoot that over that gap is 0.5 so <clears throat> at negative 0.5 comma 0 I'm coming back up at 0 comma 0.25 at and I'm going in x over negative 1.5 comma and then my y is 1.5 it's a positive coming over at 1.5 comma 0 up, oh, I went the wrong way. Escape out of it, highlight it, and click it, and delete line with my object snap turned on. I'll click right there, and something. Yeah, everything looks okay. At negative 1.5 comma zero, coming straight down at zero comma negative 1.5 brings it to there. I'm coming over in X at 0.75 comma negative 0.75 get that coming back out with this little piece from here to here is 0.38 be at negative 0.38 comma 0 down at 0 and x comma point negative 0.25 back this way at 0 comma negative point no wait wait I'm sorry at negative point seven five comma zero 
and it went the wrong way. My bad. I'm supposed to be going positive on that. So at 0.75 comma zero brings us there. Straight down here is 0.75, so at zero comma negative 0.75. Back over at negative 1.12 comma zero, and then we shall just don't hit at just do zero comma zero pick you back home. So that's how you do that in relative movements. Okay, so it's always good to go in there and hit your dimensions. And uh, go in there, like in your annotations here, make sure you go through and check some of your dimensions. And it's really good if you just check them as you go, too, so you don't mess up down the road and have to go all the way back and fix something. It's easier just to check them as you go. If you need any help, let me know.